Okay, I am sure that you have guessed by now that we are knitting a circle. And you would be right. <laughs> so we're going to take this off the loom because after you've gotten your eight wedges, you are all done with it and ready to take it off and do the rest of the project. So we're going to do the basic bind off, which requires us to, um, I'm going to just skip this one and e-wrap that next in line. And then this loop is going to go on top of here and we knit off like that and then it goes back on the empty peg here. Now you might want to keep your tension just a little bit loose while you're doing this so it will match our cast on edge. Okay, so we're going to continue. Wrap that extra little bit around there. Okay, E-wrap, knit off, then it's going to go to the previous peg there, knit off, like that and then this gets moved to the next empty peg. E-wrap, knit off on top of the previous loop, knit off and then a loop to the extra peg just like that. I can get it on there. Sometimes I like to give them this. There we go. That's good. Okay. Only two more to go. So we're knitting off. Putting it on top. Knitting off again. And then this loop fills in the hole. Knit off. Or, I'm sorry, e-wrap then knit off. And the loop moves over. We knit off. Okay, then I like to just e-wrap one more time. And knit off. And just give that a pull. And that's going to come off the loom. Now we grab our scissors. And I'm going to first cut this tool. We don't need a big tail of the tool. So I'm just going to cut it right there. But we do need a longer tail of the cotton. So, we'll get the tool out of the way. So I'm going to cut um, about this is good. Just to watch that probably not quite a yard, probably about 24 inches. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this loop and pull it all the way through. And that just finishes our bind off. Just like that. Very good. Okay. Okay, now it's time to thread just these two cotton uh, tails onto our yarn needle. We're going to leave out the tool because that's just going to rest until a little bit later. Okay, so now I have our, my two ends on here and we're going to go into these larger loops that we use to count our wedges. And I'm just going to kind of alternate between sides. If you can see that, I'm going in, well, I'll do it one at a time. So here's, I'm going on the um, right side of the loop. If it gets caught in the tool, you're going to have to pull a little bit harder to get it all the way through. There we go. Alright, so I went on the right side, so now I'm going to go to the left side of the next one and just kind of alternate that way. Right side, get that out of the way, and then left side. Oops, I got the tool again. Then we're going to go right side.
from this side. Right side. Left side. And then our right side here. Okay, now that is going to let us gather this really snugly in right there like that. Okay, and it cinches up that center hole. See? Okay, so now once it's gathered as tight as it will go, we're going to grab our um, previous our beginning tails, which was this here with the cotton, and then the, the um, tool tail that we left alone, we're going to do a square knot right there. Okay, so that's right over left. Make sure this is nicely snugged in, and then left over right. Okay, so our, now our tool and, and ends are secure there. So now all we need to do is just whip stitch or mattress stitch or however um, you like to do to cinch it up to this part. Okay, almost done here. Good. Coming to the end, stretch it out a little bit. And now we just need to finish up. and join the little top part like that and keep stretching it in shape there we go and then I'm going to just do a little knot sewing knot there Push it in. and then our ends will be woven in we're going to weave in this end and our two tool ends and our yarn ends down here and then just trim real close and if you have little places where it's sticking out you can either trim that or tuck it in a little tighter on either side okay now once you have all your ends woven in and trimmed closely to the project this is what you end up with a Scorpio or as my uh, we couldn't um, decide on a final name here in the household because we've been using these both for wiping the counters, washing dishes, scrubbing in the bath because it really gives your skin a nice polished sheen from using these. Uh, it's good to use right before shaving because it helps get all that extra dead skin off so you can get a closer shave. And so we, you can also call them back biscuits or kitchen cookies. Um, we all voted for all of the above, so you can choose what you like to call them. And I hope you enjoyed this project and you get a lot of use out of these. And um, I'm sure we'll have more of these little uh, fun projects to do, little loom alongs later at Getting It Paying. So I hope you can join us in the future. Thanks and have a great day.